So now a question for all of you. What was the inspiration behind your first creative work? First creative work. Tough question. Okay. Very tough. I have an answer. Can, 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 can I pass the question? <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, let, let, let Rex take the question first. I'll come later. Yeah. He's always taking the lead. <laughs> yeah, no, no. He, 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 he's the he's, a, guest. he, he's right. a guest to India. Yeah. So we give him the That's first right. uh, preference. That's right. That's right. Well, probably my inspiration was the same one that as soon as I'm off, I'll probably begin again. Because I began as a writer. I have five books of poetry out. Although I think you invited me because of my photography. But I began writing for a reason many people might write, which is escape. Escape to a, a better, more interesting place. A real place, which is what I think many writers will say, that fiction can be more true than the reality, that what what is so-called reality. So I think that was my inspiration, was to go somewhere else. That was probably escape, five. <laughs> escape from monotony anyway. Escape from monotony also. Definitely escape from monotony. It's what when even now when my eyes glaze over when I'm in a meeting, you know that I'm I'm not liking this, and I'm coming up with an idea. I go and and uh, write something down. Yes. Good. PK. Ah. Well, uh, he hearing Rick's talk, I, I forgot the question. <laughs> Madam Neeti, yeah, can you please give me the question again? Hello? And what about the room? Hello, Prajesh, sir. How are you? Yeah. So we have. Uh, Madam Neeti, what is the huh? question again? Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you, Prajesh, sir, for joining. He is a portrait artist, and uh, Mr. Sharma, we have Garima, uh, Praveen Kulkarni, Rex Wilder. And uh, there was a question that was uh, raised to all of them. What was the inspiration behind the first creative work? So now it's yeah. uh, now Praveen I can sir yeah. will be taking the lead. Yeah. Uh, no, no, not taking the lead, following Rex and you. <laughs> so you now you answer. Yeah. Why? Yeah, why, why, I, why I began this journey? In the first place, I began by accident. Whether it was content writing or editing or uh, all translations. I began my literary journey by accident. But once I was into it, the hunger to do something better, the hunger to, to do something creative, that is what kept me going. And it still it still keeps me going. That that is what I am after to do better than what I was yesterday. That that is my pursuit in uh, creativity. Now, the 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 basic learner in me. The learner keeps me going. And Garima, what about you? My inspiration has always come from home. That's Lots my of things at home. Good. Actually, my mother is also an artist. So that's why I start learning about art and art field about now. And Rajesh, what about you? The inspiration behind your first ever creative work? Uh, first of all, everyone, I want to congratulate uh, you with the uh, uh, I just forgot the name of Nipi Vishnam. And uh, my name is Nipi Sharma. And good afternoon, everyone. Actually, as far as my concern is, uh, when I was in uh, fifth center, then I realized that I I become, I, I may become an artist. Because uh, uh, there was an exam, fin final exam, 
instead to stand up when i was doing i need to make a flower lotus flower so i just made it to according to my opinion that was not so good and uh, i was just going to submit the paper drawing sheet to the sir then i saw uh, one letter which was uh, drawn by a girl and i just saw that that looking was very very beautiful लोटस फ्लावर तो इसको देखने के बाद मुझे मुझे अपना जो लोटस फ्लावर मैंने बनाया था वो मुझे बेकार लगने लगा मैन आई जस्ट कॉपी मैंने उसे कॉपी किया एंड सेम एज जिसको मैंने उसको बनाया उसके बाद मुझे लगा कि मेरे अंदर कहीं ना कहीं मतलब कुछ आर्टिस्ट छिपा हुआ है मैं आर्ट फील्ड में कुछ कर सकता हूँ दैट वॉज अ टाइम वेन आई वॉज इन स्कूल मैं हमेशा सिर्फ ड्राइंग बनाता रहता था और स्कूल में जो ड्राइंग टीचर थे मेरे स्कूल में कुछ अगर उनको बनाना रहता था आजकल की स्कूल में जैसे बोर्ड प्रिपरेशन होती है स्कूल के अंदर क्लास के अंदर और स्कूल में जैसे एनुअल फंक्शन होते हैं या कोई भी फंक्शन होता है तो उसके लिए डेकोरेशन होती है पूरे स्कूल में तो उसके लिए मुझे ही प्रेफर किया जाता था मुझे ही बोला जाता था तो मुझे लगता था कि मतलब मैं आर्ट फील्ड में ही कुछ कर सकता हूँ उसके बाद फिर मेरी जर्नी स्टार्ट हुई ड्राइंग फील्ड में that was a moment meeting you nice uh okay uh i think we discussed about the ai we discussed about uh, the challenges experienced by the creative fraternity so uh, now we'll be coming to the most important part that's the sales part how to sell your art or any creation so i want to know the challenges you experienced while selling your work challenges to hai hi aajkal aapko work sale karne ke liye aapko kuch challenges aaye the book challenges kya the actually kya hai ki maine dekha experience apna gain kiya hai art field mein मैं अपना वर्क लेके कई गैलरी में मैंने विजिट किया उनको शो किया दैट इज माय वर्क एंड आई वांट टू जस्ट माय वर्क इन योर एट योर टर्म विद टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन बट दे डिनाइड वो अजीब नहीं होते हैं न्यू समझ को न्यू आर्टिस्ट को उसको जल्दी ब्रेक देने के लिए बिकॉज ऑलरेडी बड़े बड़े आर्टिस्ट के साथ काम कर रहे होते हैं उनके पेंटिंग को सेल कर रहे होते हैं तो नए आर्टिस्ट का काम करे कितना भी अच्छा हो कितना भी क्रिएटिव हो बट वो इतनी जल्दी चांस नहीं हो सकता तो ये बहुत बड़ा ड्रॉबैक है आर्टिस्ट के लिए कि उसको एक प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं मिल पाता है अपना आर्ट वर्क सेल करने के लिए और वैसे भी आर्ट फील्ड जो है इंडिया के अंदर अभी इतना इतना वाइड नहीं हुआ है कि हर कोई इसको समझ सके बहुत कम लोग ही इसके समझते हैं चैलेंजेस तो बहुत हैं हार्ड वर्क को सेल करने के लिए आप कहीं भी किसी भी जगह पे सेल ऐसे नहीं कर सकते आपको प्रॉपर प्लेटफॉर्म चाहिए आपको जर्नी में एग्जीबिशन लगानी पड़ेगी उसके लिए आपको बहुत मोटा खर्चा करना पड़ता है वो तो आजकल के टाइम में हर आर्टिस्ट के बस की बात नहीं नॉट कप ऑफ टी फॉर एवरी आर्टिस्ट आई थिंक चैलेंजेस आर सो मेनी बट द मेन आई थिंक आई पर्सनली थिंक दैट कि द मेन चैलेंजेस योर टाइम एफर्ट योर क्रिएटिविटी मे बी दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट वी कन्विंस द मैसेज और वॉट वी पोर्ट्रेट और समथिंग ना तो एट्स अग चैलेंज फॉर अवर सेल्फ 
and uh, another Very is true. costing costing and timing they don't understand they think ki ye paper pe to banaya hai matlab ek mindset to hota hai that the drawing is only on paper or uh, according to rexer uh, this is only on photo photography <laughs> So I got your point. What you want to say is that people, the other part, the other side, the audience, which is in the buyers, uh, you know, end, they are unable to understand the the emotions exactly. that are expressed, the tools that are utilized, and they probably try to, you know, uh, think that uh, uh, the art is uh, not as much as significant as the other. Uh, commodities maybe yeah exactly okay okay and this, what about this idea uh, happens what, not only in art is it only okay. art specific because i will no. i do have a different opinion here because i did work with a couple of art galleries in india and uh, we were able to learn like what are the challenges and how we can what kind of work is sold in the market so i think uh, there might be a uh, gap here there might be a loop or loop wherein uh, the buyers and artists are unable to you know come together on a common platform where they can talk to each other where they can uh, make each other understand the kind of work they are Uh, preparing and uh, how significant the beautiful art piece is to the buyer, irrespective of their purchasing power. Uh, and Rex, I would like to ask from you, like the challenges or the Americans in general while selling their art. we spoke about the indian art fraternity now i want to know about the uh, the western creative fraternity because we need to learn like are the challenges same or is there something different and how we can improve it <laughs> i'm sure there are many many of the same things but i in my experience because i've i've done with my photography and with my poetry i've been part of a fraternity or a sorority whatever we call it now and that has not been what's linked me up to sales okay. what's linked me up to sales has been creating the perception that's my day job is advertising um creating the perception that we need to have a rex wilder piece of art because because there's a, a value there i guess that's why we have influencers it's and like that is simple A so if I have Rex Wilder creation over, in my home, it's a status symbol. Is that what you mean? <laughs> or, maybe people, or maybe people aren't that sure, or they they see something, and then if somebody they respect has it too, then they can feel more comfortable. Especially with photography, when you're mm -hmm. sometimes a piece that I do will be for sale for, let's say, ten thousand dollars. Oh. and people would say well i can do that i can take a picture off my screen and blow it up for 50 dollars why do i need why do i need to do that so so there's the the fact that it's a photograph and not an actual original piece of art even though you have a limited edition but the fact that it is also something that is desired by someone else does that make any sense creating yes. that that desire okay So I think the challenges are almost similar. To to add to what Rex just said. No, but yeah. in July we will again no, have a conversation wherein uh, we will uh, let you speak to the prospective buyers, and yeah. you can explain uh, whatever you have in your mind and make them understand. like what your work is all about let's hope for the best and let's connect back in july i'll share the link with you and rex so uh, i'll also share the recording with everybody uh, we would want everybody to share this further and let's encourage more people to be a part of the conversation next time so that we can understand the gap and try to curb and try to help all of you in uh, reaching your goals 
and spreading the world and making the creative fraternity, which is a beautiful fraternity and contribute a lot to the society and transforms the society in a holistic uh, manner. So this, uh, the creative fraternity should be uh, recognized, should be appreciated and uh, uh, what uh, I'm speechless now <laughs> because uh, there is a lot more to say, but uh, uh, I'm speechless. So, uh, if anybody has a question for me, you can ask before we wind this conversation. Well, I want to thank you for making my midnight. Oh, I think. Welcome. <laughs> I think uh, I think what PK was saying is also inspired me greatly, which is thank you, Rick. Thank you for what you say that that makes me want to sit down and create something as soon as we're done. But I love the feeling of us getting together and meeting each other, and it's something that might not ever have happened if you hadn't made it happen, Needy. So great to I meet think, all of you. Oh, we you had one of the right? uh, Canadian American guests uh, as a guest, uh, Eve Lanthier, uh, in our last uh, award ceremony that happened in Goa. So he was there with us. So oh, great. Yeah, Eve Lanthier. He has done. Uh, he worked with Celine Dion and a lot of uh, celebs. He has done his own. He's a self-taught artist basically, but he is. Uh, living in India permanently now. He has left US. He was basically from Florida, Canada, and uh, traveling the world and enjoying his life now in India. So thank you so much, everyone, for taking your uh, time. Thank you. Uh, thank, you. Thank, you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Madam Thank you, Madam Garima. Thank you, Madam Garima. Thank you, Madam Garima. Thank Thank you, Madam Garima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. Have a nice weekend, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 B